Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Ashrak Vats. Today I wanted to talk about one of the most beloved fusions of all time, Alexandrite. The fusion between Garnet Amethyst and Pearl, or more considerably, Ruby Sapphire Amethyst and Pearl, as I noticed a lot more people state since Super Watermelon Island where Alexandrite used Fire Breath, likely from Ruby. This is thought to be one of the most powerful fusions in the entire show. But, is she at her full potential? Is she as strong as we would like to think she is? And more importantly, what is her weapon? Is she capable of making her own weapon? I mean, after all, Guide to the Crystal Gem stated that her weapon is all of them, referring to all of the gem's weapons, which we see in the show. But, that can't be her own weapon. I mean, we've seen Opal use Amethyst's Whip and Pearl Spear before. Granted, it was used to form her bow and arrow. Actually, we've seen a lot of fusions when they make their weapons combine the weapon of the gems that make the fusion up. And this is important because who else lacked a weapon of their own? Malachite. Who was the most unstable fusion we've seen so far in the show? Malachite! <gasps> now, there's a lot of parallels between antagonists. And Malachite was the parallel to Alexandrite. But what am I getting at? Malachi obviously wasn't the only unstable fusion in that battle. As we've seen in Super Robin Island, and even Fusion Cuisine, Alexandrite is very unstable. I'm hungry! I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Cut it out, you two! <laughs> Despite how well the gems get along, they're still lacking something in Fusion, the ultimate connection between them that stops all of them from making a weapon, from being a stable fusion. Granted, the difference between Fusion Cuisine and Super Watermelon Island was there was a clear goal in mind in Super Watermelon Island. It wasn't a casual dinner like Fusion Cuisine. And even then, they still lacked the cooperation and teamwork to successfully defeat Malachite. They beat her by the strand of a hair. It was only because the Watermelon Stevens distracted her that Alexandrite was able to defeat Malachite. She caught her completely off guard. Where it feels like in other situations, different fusions would have came up with a strategy to take down Malachite. But throughout Super Bowl on the Island, it seemed like Alexandrite was just throwing out whatever she could, as long as it meant Malachite would get some kind of damage. And it gave Malachite an edge, because for a lot of the fight, she was dominating Alexandrite. And considering that Malachite is the most unstable fusion we've ever seen so far, that's really concerning. And while their victory does show that there is some kind of stability there, it's not a perfectly stable fusion. And before we have the big temple fusion between Steven and the rest of the gems, or at least something that will look kind of like temple fusion because, you know, Steven's human DNA, gives fusions a different look. I would like to see Alexandrite become perfectly stable and form her own weapon. The lack of her own weapon is played off as cool because we could see her use an arsenal of weapons, but it's also sad because it means she's not stable enough to have a weapon of her own. Now, what would I want her weapon to be? Well, I think it'd be pretty cool if she could make a combination of weapons depending on the order she made them in, but after looking online, I saw a lot of cool things like a scythe, nunchucks with the handles being Sugalite's gauntlets, or if you want to keep it simple, a sword. Granted, a sword is no weapon we haven't seen before, but an Alexandrite sword, or variation of a sword, would be sick. Or a scythe. A scythe would be rad too. Who knows, maybe a certain return of a certain blacksmith? who already graded the gem's weapons once before can help make a weapon for Alexandrite, but that's just wishful thinking. Please bring back Bismuth. But anyways, these are my thoughts, and I would love to hear yours, so please comment down below. What do you think Alexandrite's weapon is? Do you think she'll get one? Do you think she'll ever be perfectly stable? Let's have a discussion. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Ostrich Vox, signing out.